This is the video Samuel Mindra used to qualify for the Nationals. It was a virtual competition where you only got one shot and you only had to do one free skate. You didn't have to do a short program. And so the top 12 uh, high scores got to go to this competition. Recorded by his coach and sent to U.S. figure skating for judging, it was good enough to secure his invitation to the Nationals in Las Vegas. The journey to reach that point was exceptional. Because of COVID-19, rinks were closed, including the Sherwood Ice Arena, his home rink. Um, I had to stop skiing for three months after our rink closed. So that was kind of hard. We did a bunch of off-ice classes, though, on like Zoom. Our coaches did it. They ran it, and then all the students were on it. He trained at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado for a short time and skated in Tacoma until rinks in Washington closed in mid-November. To continue skating, he and his coach began making the six-hour drive to Klamath Falls to train at the Bill Collier Community Ice Rink. It stayed open because it has an outdoor ice surface. Well, we drove there every week and we stayed there for like five days. Then I came home for the weekend. Wow. And then we went back again <laughs> for like a month. Even with limited training, Samuel was excited about the trip to the Nationals. I'm in the top of the like part of the top of the group so that would be exciting for me he knew it would be a different experience there's like no audience there's only going to be like cardboard cutouts and stuff so it'll be interesting and the fake applause they're going to run a tape that fake applause so that'll be kind of funny he finished third at the nationals his journey wasn't the smoothest but it was rewarding and he's looking forward to the future he wants to go to the junior and senior world championships and then start coaching. Art Edwards, KGW Sports. What a journey. Congratulations, Samuel. Isn't it a joy to watch him skate? Good luck to him.